this is our hotel room. Guest bathroom, marble floors, full wraparound balcony. Are you fucking kidding me? What bar? It's the master suite. Why is she going about the bath not being attached? Look at the shower. It's a steam shower. It's a, it's a, no way. Look at steam. Oh my fucking god. Look it's a steam shower. Holy shit. We are either. We're either gonna die or my credit card is getting charged like $10,000. This is not what we booked. <laughs> this is another hotel review by the Nell Beach Club. Sapphire Suite, room 2837. We have a couple special guests. So we booked a regular room and we got this crazy suite. This is the guest bathroom. This is the entryway here. Here's our guest appearances over here. We literally thought we were getting like a standard room and then they gave us this one bedroom apartment. There's Brooklyn, Annabelle. <laughs> Two balconies. Coffee station, dining room table. Master bedroom. This place is bigger than any apartment I have ever owned. That same connecting balcony. Views to the adult pool, the ocean. We did find some random person's underwear in our drawer, so that was interesting. Walk in closet. Safe over here. This is probably my favorite part. It's the master bathroom. Separate toilet, makeup station. Walk in shower. Shower pressure gets a seven and a half. We were super excited because we thought that the, it had a steam shower, but I guess those don't work anymore. We asked like eight people. <laughs> just then we just came to the conclusion to work. And then you can take a bath here with these views. His and her sinks. Definitely an awesome hotel. Extremely expensive though. This room goes anywhere from, I think like 1,500 to 3,500 bucks a night. I think the only thing that's big in this at this resort is the two bedroom. This is amazing. I just don't feel that anything more than a thousand bucks a night is uh, not insane for something like this. But uh, yeah, no, definitely love the hotel. The views are just absolutely amazing. We'll say one thing we realized at this hotel was probably better to stay up at the Royals, at least if you have kids, because it's an 18 plus pool here. And every single morning we get up and we go over to the main hotel. I will say this is definitely more bougie, thousand percent, including all the child safety locks, literally four of them on the door. It's cool. You literally come out on your balcony and you're at the party. I feel like I'm in Vegas right now. Yeah, this all area here is all the 18 plus pool. There's a kid's pool over there. But you're gonna walk about 10 minutes every morning each way over to the main Royal, which is the main uh, hotel over there. But all in all, I really love the hotel. Great service. Not everyone really knows what's going on around here when we talk to people. Like we were trying to make reservations at the fish restaurant and they were saying, oh, it's sold out. Then we went over there and it was closed. So I guess if you try and make reservations and it says sold out, that might just mean that it's closed. Their main restaurants only open like three days a week. I think this time of year, even though they told me that this is peak season here on March 1st. Another fun fact, we came with a nanny and they told us that there was a pullout sofa. I guess they meant air sofa is the pullout sofa. <laughs> Um, this, she told us, was more comfortable to sleep on the uh, sofa here. But, uh, you know, all in all, really great resort. Definitely kind of unnecessary, in my opinion, if it's just a couple. This is just, like, way over the top.
<laughs> and for us, if you have kids, I would highly recommend just staying over at the Royal. What do you think, Brooklyn? What do you think? Look at her hair. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about it? <laughs> um, let's see what else. Uh, if you want breakfast, there's a Starbucks that's in the adjoining hotel that's on the other side here. I think it's building one because this is 2000s. That's the 1000s over there. So there's a Starbucks over there and there's a fancy breakfast place here, but you're gonna spend like 80 bucks for two people for basic breakfast. So most people just go to Starbucks or they'll go over to the Royal where they have um, the huge breakfast buffet. But uh, other than that, yeah, love it here. It is really nice. If you're not having kids, highly recommend this hotel. If you do have kids, definitely recommend staying at the Reef or um, the Royal. Thanks again, guys.